Currently the team is uh, looking to either renew the current sponsorship or to get a new sponsor on board. Do you know what stage those talks are at? Yeah, kind of. I know my, my boss, Bob Stapleton, I think he's quite busy. I think he got one or two weeks more to make a, a deal with a new uh, contract. Everybody willing to waiting for him. I think everybody's quite happy in the team here. We've got a very good atmosphere in the team. Pretty relaxed and still winning, you know. Obviously, you was you winning, you're always happy. So, uh, but I think everybody want to wait. Uh, even Mark agreed, you know, to give Bob a few more weeks to see what's going to happen. So uh, we would do everything here to keep it, keep it together. If we should have to stop, like say in one or two weeks, say, okay, we know, pulled in a new sponsor. Gotta say that's life. Everything comes to an end here in life, but it uh, would be a pity. Bob had said that he thought a decision would be made during the tour by the second rest day. So the fact that these talks are still ongoing, is that a good sign, do you think? I think the story about the second rest day, I don't know where that came from. It's probably like the snow in Galibier. I mean, none of us did never heard that story. It started in the press and it goes pretty fast sometimes. And uh, I always heard like a bit after Tour de France. And then we have to respect the riders, everybody, this one years. That's going to be a deadline because it's quite a good team we got here and everybody got offers. So people are asking, what about your team? Everybody's depressed because you're going to close it down. Everybody likes to be be here. It's not because people are going to be un unemployed next year. I can imagine each rider in our team here maybe got four, five, six offers from other team. So not because I don't know what to do. But of course it's sad, you know, to leave the team. We've been a good team for like a few years, so it's closed down. Like we see. I think it would be a big shame for cycling because the team has been very successful. There hasn't been any questions of scandals. Um, there's other teams maybe with a, a different different past, um, maybe less success, have succeeded in finding sponsorship. So I think a lot of people would be disappointed if the team were to I stop. I think it would be a pity because I think with uh, Bob Stableson, he was like setting new standards in cycling. Uh, I think most people know we We've been clean as a cycling team can be. We've got a very good development program. We've got probably the best bikes in the bunch, best tires, best basically everything. Uh, my boss, Bob Stableson, we call him pretty American, but like uh, most of my generation been pretty old fashioned, like we did in the past. Cold, you just put on the raincoat, you know, and uh, tires and that tire, you know. S somebody paying big money, we go for their sponsorship, but what else was been slightly different you know everybody went to the wind tunnel you know testing every tire you know handlebars everything tested 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 so uh, in a very short period this looked like uh, we make some new standards in cycling development and like all the bigger teams coming they're gonna, gonna come with a team from uh, australia green edge uh, the sky team coming you know that probably tries to figure out now how we did it in the development and uh, it's going to be new, new standards in cycling now and uh, good old days is over and that's probably all right also. <laughs>